Welcome to a yoga moment with Musilon. My name is Laura Erdman Lentz. In today's moment, I'm going to talk about taking the head back in yoga poses. In particular, Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1 pose. We can also apply this to Ustrasana, Camel Pose, uh, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose, um, Upward Facing Dog Pose, all of the poses in yoga when we take the head back. So when we take the head back, you want to be careful how you do so to protect the neck. If you take the head back by just dropping it back, simply dropping it back, there creates well, it's a hard on the neck. Okay, it's very hard on the neck. It also creates a lot of congestion energetically. If you can see, and I'll exaggerate it a little bit, it's like my shoulders come up as my neck goes back, and it's like the energy jams right in that neck. So this energy comes up, this energy goes down, and it just creates a lot of congestion, again, energetic congestion through there. Instead, what you want to feel, and it comes from the base, so whatever your base may be. In Virabhadrasana 1, it's, it's in your feet. In camel pose, it's in your knees. When it's in Bhujangasana, you want to, or cobra pose, um, excuse me, extend the legs, press the palms, and you really open through the chest. So in, in Warrior 1, you feel the feet, and you can just do it in Tadasana here standing. You feel the feet, you get really long through the body, and then you lift up and allow the head to tip back like the body is in one unit. So you can see instead of the shoulders coming up, they're moving down. The heart lifts up. You reach up and out through the top of the head as, as the head goes back. So it stays really long here instead of dropping back. You can see the difference there. I like to tell my students, pretend you are Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head and your head is, is set into your body on a peg, and the peg ends somewhere behind your heart. So feel as if your head is tipping back from that spot, and you're feeling that elongation all the way up and out through the, through the top of the head. When you do that, it'll help keep the neck safe. So as I move into Warrior One, and I'll do so without the arms, so you can really get the full effect. You can see it. You're getting long through the body, you're reaching up and out through the top of the head, keeping that heart lifted, and the head goes back from there. The other way would look like this. Okay, so now when I add the arms, and you want to bring the arms up and overhead really consciously, and there's another video out on my YouTube site that talks about bringing the arms up and overhead without causing congestion up here. So you want to keep it nice and loose. You extend, you lift up, and, the, and the, take the head up and overhead. And then you can move into the pose. Well, I hope that helps you take your head back in a safe manner to protect the neck and to really reap the benefits of the energetic boost you get from taking your head back. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.